Aerodynamics is the study of how air moves around objects. Think about planes flying, cars zooming, or even birds soaring. It's the science that helps us understand why and how these things move through the air. Basics of Aerodynamics Air It's all around us. It's a mix of gases, mainly nitrogen and oxygen. Air has weight, and it can push and pull on objects. Force When you push or pull something, you're applying force. In aerodynamics, there are four primary forces, lift, weight, or gravity, thrust, and drag. The big four forces. Lift It's what makes planes rise off the ground. Lift happens because of the difference in air pressure above and below a wing. Weight, gravity. This force pulls everything towards the Earth's center. For an aircraft to fly, it needs enough lift to beat this pull. Thrust Engines produce thrust. It's the push that moves planes forward. Birds flap their wings to get thrust. Drag It's air resistance. It tries to slow things down. Think of it as air's way of saying, hey, slow down. The planes, it's a force to fight against. The shape factor. Streamlining. Ever noticed how planes and birds have a similar shape? It's because a streamlined shape helps reduce drag. Airfoil. It's a fancy name for the shape of a wing. It's curved on the top and flatter on the bottom. This shape helps produce lift. Breaking the sound barrier. Mach number. It's a way to tell how fast something is going compared to the speed of sound. Going faster than the speed of sound? That's breaking the sound barrier, and you're in supersonic territory. Bernoulli's principle. This principle is a big deal in aerodynamics. It says that when air speeds up, its pressure drops. And where it slows down, its pressure rises. This difference in pressure helps create lift. The spin factor, gyroscopic effect. When objects spin, like a frisbee, they can have stable flight. This spinning can resist changes to its direction. Ground effect. Close to the ground, aircraft can feel an extra cushion of lift. It's because the ground interferes with the airflow, helping planes save fuel during takeoff. Vortex, the swirly air. As wings produce lift, they also create tiny whirlwinds or vortices. These can affect other planes, especially during takeoff and landing. Stalls. No, not stopping for fuel. In aerodynamics, a stall is when a wing loses lift. Pilots are trained to handle these situations. Lesser known concepts. Magnus effect. Ever seen a spinning ball curve in midair? That's the Magnus effect. The spin affects the airflow, causing the curve. Boundary layer. It's a super thin layer of slow moving air right next to the surface of an object moving through the air. Managing this layer can help reduce drag. Winglets. Those upward bends at the end of plane wings? They're not just for looks. They help reduce vortices and save fuel. Laminar versus turbulent flow. Laminar flow. When air flows smoothly in parallel layers. It's like a calm river. This kind of flow has less drag. Turbulent flow. When air swirls and mixes. It's like water rapids. This creates more drag. Angle of attack. It's the angle between the oncoming air and the wing's cord line, an imaginary straight line from the wing's front to back. Increasing the angle can generate more lift, but too much, and the wing can stall. Drag types. Parasitic drag. The sum of all drags not related to lift. It includes. Form drag. Drag caused by the shape of an object. Skin friction. Drag from air rubbing against an object's surface. Induced drag. It's linked with lift. When a wing creates lift, it also creates vortices, leading to this drag. High lift devices. Flaps. Movable parts on a wing's rear edge. They increase the wing's surface, generating more lift for takeoffs and landings. Slats. Found on a wing's front edge. They help smooth the airflow, preventing early stalls. Center of pressure and center of gravity. Center of pressure. 
the point where all aerodynamic forces, like lift and drag, act. Its position can change with the angle of attack. Center of gravity. Where the object's weight is balanced. For stable flight. CG and CP should align properly. Dynamic pressure. It represents the kinetic energy in a flow. Faster airflows have higher dynamic pressures, which can affect lift and drag. Reynolds number. A value that predicts flow patterns. It considers factors like speed, fluid properties, and object size. High Reynolds numbers usually mean turbulent flows. Stability and control. Pitch. Nose up or down movement. Yaw. Left or right movement, like shaking your head. Roll. Rotation along the aircraft's length, like a barrel roll. Compressibility. At high speeds, air molecules get squeezed or compressed. This affects airflow, especially near the sound barrier. Air density and altitude. Density. Refers to how packed the air molecules are. At higher altitudes, air is less dense, which affects engine performance and lift. Venturi effect. When air flows through a narrow space, its speed increases and pressure drops. This principle is used in many devices, like carburetors. Aerodynamic interference. It's when the airflow around one part of an object affects the flow around another part. For instance, the flow around a car's wheels can affect its overall drag. Aerodynamics isn't just about making things fly. It's in how cars are designed for fuel efficiency, how wind turbines are shaped, and even in the spin of a soccer ball. If you like science and tech videos, subscribe for more.